Hello, my name is Michel Bowens. I'm the founder of the Peer to Peer Foundation, and we do uh, one thing mostly, which is we're an observatory of all uh, human practices that are influenced by what we call the peer to peer dynamic. So the free association of individuals uh, through networks um, and that allows the scaling of collaboration at a global scale. Facebook, Google, Uber, what are they? They don't make money with workers. They make money by enabling us to do peer-to-peer -peer exchanges and sharing. Yeah, So they're commons extractive companies. They directly exploit human cooperation. The new capitalism I call it Proudhonian capitalism, uh, because Proudhon thought the surplus came through cooperation. They directly exploit our peer-to-peer -peer exchanges. We also look into what we call the commons, so shared resources uh, like free software, open design. So we're actually the knowledge is shared by lots of uh, people, communities, cooperatives, even uh, corporations. So this kind of a collaborative ecosystem. Uh, and this is emerging in many different places and we just look at that and, and, and how it works. But we actually also promote one particular model which we call cosmolocal production. So basically today you have two choices, neoliberal globalization, where we spend basically too much resources for the survival of humanity. We spend three times more matter and energy on transporting stuff than on making stuff. So the words the neoliberal globalization model is condemned in the next decades. But the answer of national protectionism, I don't find very appealing because it's xenophobic, etc., etc. So why not keep the best of both worlds, which is saying everything that's heavy is local and everything that's light is global and shared. So information, knowledge, software is shared globally. So everybody can benefit and augment it like it's already the case um, in free software. What open source has brought to the world is called Stigmergy, is free mutual coordination through signaling. I, it's like in a football game, right? You, you have 11 players here, 11 players on the other side. We, everybody sees the whole game. And so in real time, you adapt your behavior. So this is the standard in, in free software cooperation. But in order to do this in production, real material production, we need accounting. And this is why blockchain is a revolution. The more communistic your license, the more capitalistic your practice. If you allow everybody to share, big companies dominate your ecosystem. So we are for copy fair. And copy fair splits knowledge from commercialization. So we say everybody can use the knowledge because it's unethical to not share solutions for the global crisis. But if you want to make money out of our work, you have to somehow to reciprocate. The second level is uh, localizing where we can. So it's a difficult word, we, we talk about subsidiarity. That means at the lowest level that makes sense. It doesn't always make sense to do things local, but, so we have to be reasonable about it. But the third aspect is also that we want this economy to be generative, so it has to work for communities of people and for nature. So that's what we call generative and not extractive. So we are very much into combining the relocalization and the free sharing of knowledge uh, in a, either a cooperative uh, format or B cooperation or social entrepreneurship. Why don't cities get together, leagues of cities like in the Middle Ages, together with ethical finance, new B, and uh, big co-op, solidarity economy players and create the infrastructural software that we need to mutualize provisioning systems in cities. Actually, any form where capital is not the goal itself, but the means to an end. So it's, we call it not for profit, which is not for profit, but it's also not non-profit. It means that if you want to change, you are, have to be not industrial, but industrious. Capital poor, labor incentives. This is economy which is labor intensive and capital poor. And this is happening everywhere. It's using all the surplus that you generate to, for a purpose, something that's meaningful and generative for the world.